I know that the vast majority of people who were on the streets of Washington yesterday were patriotic Americans who were making their views known. The show you've been waiting for. If this is your first time tuning into the Miguel Lopez Show, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, everything to beat the algorithm. Before we start today, I want to address a couple of things again. If you post any comment and they are negative or full of curses, swear words, whatever it is, I don't flag your comments. YouTube flags your comments. And I don't really go and see what comments have been flagged. So if you want to post your negative thoughts or you in disagreement with me, post it in a way that YouTube will not flag your comments and not post it on the video. It is not me, it is YouTube. But to address some of the comments that I happen to go and see, you guys are funny. You guys are saying, my guy is full of racist. They are going to send you back home. They are going to deport you. Newsflash, I am not here illegally. I am a U.S. citizen. And you and your comment are the racist one. I have never experienced any racism or discrimination from any one of the MAGA group. On the contrary, anytime I get bad feedback or you guys bring up my nationality, that I'm going to get deported back, and all of this nonsense is for you Democrats, for you so-called woke people. So who is actually being the racist and discriminating against me? Now that I give it to them what you think, it's you, not MAGA, not the Republicans, not the white supremacists, not the Christians that are like all over the board, nope. I get nothing but love and respect. Even if we don't agree on some of the terms and some of the stuff that are going on, we are able to converse and have a discussion without calling each other names and move on. We both expose our point of view and we can agree to disagree and continue moving on both. So remember, before you blame someone of being racist, look at yourself first because all the racism and discrimination I experience is for new Democrats, for new woke people, for new that think because I have an accent because I'm Hispanic, I'm here illegally, I'm gonna get deported back, I'm gonna get sent home back, Trump is gonna send me home again. I mean, if, if Trump wants to send me home, I'll take it, because let me be honest, those flights are a little expensive right now. When traveling from New York to Florida, it can get a little expensive. So if you got any input on how Trump can Assist me on that, let me know, I'm more ears. But let's not waste more your time. I just wanted to let know for those that don't see their comments on my videos is because you have been flagged by the YouTube police, not by me. So learn how to write, learn how to type, and learn how to express your opinion without a bunch of curse words. Word to the wise to live for. Now that we cleared the air, I want to address a video that I saw back in July 25th, but I had not gotten the chance to go over it. It's from the State Department spokesperson, Matthew Miller. He's addressing the nation through a briefing, dissecting or speaking in regards to the protests that were happening in D.C. late in July. He called them patriotic Americans. So let's see. I'm trying to break this down, but before I get into it, how about we watch the video and then we jump on it and see how delusional this guy is, how delusional the Democratic Party is, how delusional the State Department is, because you cannot make this crap up. You cannot make it up, even if you try. So let's watch the video. Known, make them known peacefully. It's one of the things that makes this country what it is and what it has been for almost 250 years. So anyone, I would say to anyone that is burning an American flag, while spray painting pro Hamas graffiti uh, in Washington to stop and think for a moment about what would happen if they were protesting Hamas's rule in Gaza. And it's not a question that you have to look very hard for an answer because we know, because we've seen in the past, 
when people have protested in Hamas's rule in Gaza, we've seen how Hamas has responded. They responded with brutal crackdowns, with arrests, with violent repression. Fortunately, that is not who we are in this country. That is not who we are going to be in this country. We stand by, as I said, the right to protest, the right to, to dissent. And I know that the vast majority of people who were on the streets of Washington yesterday were patriotic Americans who were making their views known. Yo, <laughs> call me crazy, call me naive, call me ignorant, whatever you want to call me, but is this guy out of his mind? Like. How can you call those people patriotic Americans? In what world have you seen a patriotic American burning the U.S. flag, destroying U.S. monument? But the funny part is during the insurrection of Jan 6, which has been debunked, and we have seen the real videos, and we know what truly happened now, all this clickbait that the media has been playing in the Democratic Party and trying to portray all this insurrection and everything. They call those guys domestic terrorists. Those people were called domestic terrorists, arrested, people that were just in the vicinity were arrested, flagged, and everything that transcribed because of the insurrection. And they took no time to call them domestic terrorists. And now this mother, I'm trying to be a good Samaritan, I'm trying to Hold on to my value, my Christian values, and not curse. I'm gonna do my best to not curse. But this person, this Democratic Party, they destroy monuments. All the world, pro Hamas everywhere. Attack the police, been destroying cities, and all this stuff. They are not called domestic terrorists. They are called peaceful protesters that are. A little bit not in agreement with the government, are not liking what the government is doing, and they call it peaceful, pro protester, patriotic Americans. In what mind? I don't see any Americans there. I, not, I don't see any patriotic Americans. Any Americans that you see during the, those protests are not patriotic. They are not true to this nation. They don't give a crap about this nation. Because when you support terrorism, how can you support America? But they don't call them terrorists. Oh, God forbid they call those Hamas people terrorists or the Palestinian people terrorists. Oh, no, they are peaceful protesters, peaceful American citizens, patriotic citizens that just want to express their voices. No, 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 no. They are domestic terrorists that are spreading their propaganda, destroying government property, putting that flag everywhere they can, and we don't do nothing about it because you guys think that's peaceful? But no, God forbid, was Republicans doing something like this right away, like domestic terrorists, they Trump, MAGA, MAGA this, MAGA that, but these small folks, can do all that and you guys have no word but to do a briefing, the most peaceful briefing I have ever seen, not condemning anyone, like get out of here. This is why I cannot stand the world people, why I cannot stand the Democratic Party and why I refuse to vote for Democrats. Like even if there are some good Democrats, you guys are making people not like them because of your stupidity and your wokeness and your one side rule, one side law. Oh, we go high if you're Republican, if you're on this side. If you're not, if you walk or whatever, oh, you're just peaceful and nothing. But you know, I'm sick of these people. Like, I don't even know how they in office, how they got this power. But just let me know what you think. Were they peaceful, patriotic American or those are just domestic terrorists spreading their propaganda and the Democrat and more people are too sleep to see it, the blinders are all over their eyes and they cannot see the truth, they refuse to see the truth. Anything but hate on Trump and the Republicans, that's all they care about. So let me know in the comment what you think, you know, you know what it is, I'll see you in the next one.